LeBron James is the powerhouse in the NBA, usually regarded as one of the best to ever play the game of basketball. A 17-time All-Star player, LeBron has no doubt achieved and broken several NBA records. After making it into the NBA in 2003, the now legendary player has gone on to become one of the most successful players in the history of the game, and has been constantly compared to Michael Jordan. In the same vein, LeBron James has made an incredible amount of money playing. His skills and achievements have also caused the star to bag several endorsement deals, running into millions of dollars. With over 17 years in the NBA, how much is LeBron actually worth, and what does this NBA superstar spend his millions on? Let's find out. But before we get into the video today, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another update from us. LeBron James's Net Worth LeBron James broke into the NBA in 2003 after he was selected as the overall number one pick by the Cleveland Cavaliers. He played for the Cavaliers till 2010 and moved on to the Miami Heat. Despite the controversy and criticism that came with his move, it was one of his first massive money-making moves. However, four years later, he moved back to the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2014 and stayed there until 2008. 18, when he ended up joining the LA Lakers. In 17 years, he's won a total of four NBA championships and two gold medals for the United States. His move to Los Angeles attracted a four-year contract for $153 million. This deal also allowed him to reach the $1 billion career earnings mark. His 2018 contract with the Lakers also means that he joined the 10-figure team with 60% of these earnings coming from endorsements. Interestingly enough, as of the 6th of April 2020, the Stars made over $88.2 million in salary, according to Forbes. LeBron was also number five on the Forbes list of the world's highest paid athletes in 2020. Before LeBron even joined the Lakers in 2016, Forbes had noted that he was worth $275 million and was placed number nine on the list of the 40 richest entrepreneurs under 40. By the time the deal with the Lakers will expire in 2021, LeBron James would have made over $428 million in salary. Currently, the NBA star is estimated to be worth $500 million. Also, his yearly NBA salary comes into the tune of $40 million. As mentioned previously, the bulk of LeBron's millions does come from sponsorship deals and endorsements. His endorsement portfolio is one of the most interesting in the world, as he makes deals with the likes of Samsung, Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, Beats by Dre, State Farm Insurance, and so on. His most lucrative deal, though, is with Nike, a deal that's been popularly referred to as a lifetime contract. He signed on the dotted line back in 2015, and rumors have suggested that this deal is worth a staggering $1 billion. LeBron James also has a number of businesses and investment deals in his name. For instance, the basketball star has an ownership stake in Liverpool, an English football club. In 2011, he bought a 2% stake with the Fenway Sports Group and ended up joining them this year as a partner. This was a major step up as this ended up allowing him to be a part owner of the Red Sox, New England Sports Network, and Rush Fenway Racing. In 2012, LeBron James heavily invested in Blaze Pizza and he owns more than 19 Blaze Pizza franchises in both Southern Florida and Chicago. As an investor and paid endorser, he's got a stake of over $40 million with the company. And in addition to this, LeBron James also came together with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lindsey Vaughn, and Cindy Crawford in 2014 to form Ladder, a company that's focused on health and wellness. However, a major part of the company was sold to OpenFit, a digital fitness brand platform in 2020, and LeBron James released a statement after the deal, which was reported by Business Wire. In a public statement, he said, quote, after pushing my body to its limits season after season, I needed a different level of supplements that I could trust to complement my workouts and aid in the recovery process. With Ladder, we achieved that. We were able to work with experts to create an incredible line of certified high-caliber supplements for all athletes, but we also recognize that this is just one of the processes. Now, with the reach and resources of the OpenFit platform, we're excited about bringing all this together and creating a new level of training and nutrition that fits everyone's individual needs. Additionally, LeBron James started a production company called Maverick Carter, known as Spring Spring Hill Entertainment, and founded a media company known as Uninterrupted, a company that he also founded with Maverick Carter, whose goals is to give black creators a platform to showcase their works. LeBron is also a co-owner of The Unknown, a sneaker and designer clothing retailer which is based in the Miami area. The brand was originally founded in 2011 and currently offers streetwear, designer clothes, and of course sneakers. LeBron's eye for business is so inevitable that once Warren Buffett said of the basketball star, quote, he's savvy, he's smart about financial matters. It's amazing to me the maturity he exhibits. 
With all these investments, endorsements, and even millions of dollars in salaries, what exactly does LeBron James actually do with all that money? A mansion worth $36.8 million. There are so many luxuries that come with being wealthy, but the greatest is the fact that these individuals can buy residential homes that could pass for a tourist attraction. In 2020, LeBron James ended up adding to his residential LA estate portfolio by acquiring the Beverly Hills Compound, a place that's worth over $36 million. This house is one of the most important in Hollywood history and was previously occupied by none other than Katherine Hepburn, who's regarded as the biggest female star in classic Hollywood cinema. LeBron James bought the mansion from Lee Philabelle, who is the co-creator of The Young and the Restless and The Bold and Beautiful. The house is a complete masterpiece, spanning over 13,000 square feet. As expected, it comes with a swimming pool, pool house, tennis court, seven different fireplaces, four bedrooms, and eight bathrooms. The property was listed for $39 million, but LeBron was able to score a huge discount. With this additional purchase, LeBron James now owns three homes in LA, all of which cost $80 million in total. Body care. Have you ever wondered why LeBron James is 36 and still able to play with so much agility and strength? Every year, according to Lakers assistant coach Phil Handy, the player spends over a million dollars on body care. According to reports, the player spends anywhere from $1.5 million to $2 million on his body every year. In addition to this, he practices a strict workout routine four days every week. He also follows a strict diet made only out of healthy food. According to Handy in an Instagram Live, LeBron does all of these so that he will remain fit and even play better in every game. The assistant coach also mentioned that the game of basketball might not change, but the style, players, and even gameplay are completely evolving. Hence, for a player like LeBron James to keep up with the change, it's important that he's completely fit physically every time. This money goes into cryotherapy, hyperbaric chambers, Normatec leg boots, his diet, chefs, and trainers. An American nutritionist has also given us an insight into the sort of food that LeBron James takes in. Since his favorite food is tacos, his chef prepares a healthier version of the food. So, if you want to stay fit like LeBron at the age of 36, then you might want to heavily invest in body care products and treatments, plus a very strict and restricting diet. A public school. Like most other celebrities, LeBron James uses his wealth to create opportunities for others or even do something positive for the community he came out of. One of these such things was a public school for kids who were at high risk. LeBron James came from a home without a father, a father who chose drugs over his own family. If he hadn't been taught to play basketball by a local coach, LeBron would have turned out to be an entirely different person. LeBron understands this situation and, with the LeBron James Family Foundation, he started the I Promise School, which had opened in July of 2017. When the school opened in Ohio, there were a total of 240 at-risk students for admission. LeBron James believes that everyone deserves an equal opportunity for success, irrespective of where they come from. His automobiles. LeBron James mentioned in 2015 that his best brand was Kia, but fans didn't pay so much attention since he was their ambassador. However, he laid all of his doubts about the brand when he bought the Kia K900 for $50,900, and it ended up turning out to be one of his favorite rides. LeBron James is also a big fan of Ferraris. For the first episode of Unique Whips, he was gifted a Ferrari by Will Castro, and it was estimated to be worth between $186,000 and $281,000. For his 25th birthday, the star ended up buying himself another Ferrari, one that cost $300,000. He also bought a Ferrari for his wife for her 30th birthday. It was a Ferrari Tescarosa, and it would have cost around $240,000. He did the same thing for his mom way back in 2014, when he ended up buying her a new Porsche for her birthday. The star also owns a Porsche 911 Turbo S convertible, which he reportedly got for around $203,000. His most prized car, though, is his Maybach 57S, which he bought back in 2008. The car was infamous, and not because of the brand, but due to the fact that the license plate that read KNGOF. OH, which obviously means King of Ohio. The car would have cost around $400,000, but nobody knows if he still has the car with the same plate on it, or if he ended up selling it. Tattoos and Vacations LeBron is known for having ink scattered all over his body, and he gets his tattoos done in the Bang Bang Studios shop in New York City. The same shop also had visitors like Rihanna, Katy Perry, and Justin Bieber. The shop charges a minimum of $500 an hour, and for a huge tattoo like LeBron's, it must have taken several hours, and of course, thousands of dollars to get completed. LeBron also knows how to relax when the time is right. In 2014, he went on a sightseeing trip to Greece with his wife. The couple had visited Athens, Michael 
Mykonos and Santorini before eventually going to the ancient Temple of Zeus. We should also note that when LeBron wanted to propose to his wife in 2011, he bought an engagement ring worth over $300,000. LeBron definitely knows how to be lavish and frugal when the need arises, and these factors will soon turn him into a billionaire. With that, we're going to wrap up this video. Thanks so much for watching, and if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, as well as hitting that post notification bell so you never miss another update from us. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.